Hi, this is attorney Nicole Christie from the Christie Law Firm. And I wanted to talk to you again about DCF and Corona and the quarantine and how they are operating. So I want you to be aware that DCF is continuing to have meetings, but they're having them either by video or by teleconference. So you need to understand that you can participate, you can keep in touch with DCF, but it's just done uh, virtually or by phone. So one of the first uh, meetings that I wanna talk to you about that they are doing constantly are administrative case reviews. Those are what we call uh, treatment plan hearings or meetings to just discuss the treatment plan that DCF has with your family or with your child if they are in foster care. These are important meetings. They happen every six months and it's a good opportunity to hear what DCF is saying about your family, what the expectations are and what their plan is for you and your family. These meetings are primarily being held by telephone. What you can do is make sure you ask your DCF worker when is the next meeting and to make sure they give you the phone number and the participation code that you will need in order to join the meeting. I suggest when you go to those meetings, as I've said in a previous video, you do a lot of listening, less talking, less arguing, but do a lot of listening. This way you can hear what's being said about your family. This way you can understand what DCF's expectations are. And again, remember anything that you say to DCF can be used against you. DCF is also holding administrative hearings. They're different from the ACR, the Administrative Case Review. Administrative hearings is if you have a conflict with DCF, if you have an issue with DCF and you want a separate hearing officer to hear that issue, hear evidence and make a decision, you can go to an administrative hearing. In another video, we'll talk to you about substantiation hearings, which is, falls under that category, but also administrative hearings can be held around visitation, around placement, around services, things that you're expecting DCF to do, but they're not, you can have an internal review on that. That is being held through Microsoft Teams. If you don't have Microsoft Teams, it is free to download and free to use. I suggest that you download it just for your reference figure out how to use it. It's a little different from Zoom and other programs. So you wanna be familiar with it so that if you should get an invitation and you're asking to be a part of an administrative hearing, you wanna be ready to be able to use that resource. Microsoft Teams is also being used by the juvenile court in some locations. And so you wanna be familiar with it again for that purpose. Um, make sure that DCF, your DCF worker, has your email. If you don't have an email, it's easy to create on Gmail, Outlook, um, even Yahoo still exists, but make sure you get an email address so that they know how to get in contact with, with you through email. And so when you participate in a video conference, what I would suggest you do is try to find the best backdrop you can, even if it's just a plain white wall, so there are no distractions. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected, everything is working, um, so that there aren't any distractions or any issues on your end in terms of participating in these meetings. I have to say that sometimes when you're in those meetings, you know, sound could go, video could go, so just be patient. Uh, sit there and make sure that at least on your end, nothing is wrong. So understand that you can keep in contact with DCF and you should keep in contact with DCF. They're still holding meetings. They're still holding hearings. They're still making decisions about your family and you need to be a part of that. So if you ever have any questions, you ever have any concerns, please feel free to contact us at the Christie Law Firm, 860 uh, 461-7494. Again, that's 860-461-7494. We'll be sure to try to help you out. And remember, continue to be involved with your kids' lives. Do not give up just because DCF is involved. There is an end at some point, and that end should be that you are reunited with your kids and that you're, be, you're able to provide a safe and stable home for them. Please, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, like and share this video with anyone you know who's dealing with DCF and needs more information. Take care.